Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing my Diversathon TBR. If you haven't seen the videos and announcements about it, the Diversathon is basically a readathon started by four different booktubers, all of whom I will link down below. And they started this readathon in response to a bunch of discussions that had been happening on the internet um, as a way to sort of celebrate and to encourage reading books by and about people different than you and especially people with more marginalized voices. So the readathon is a week long. There is a group read. They're going to be reading Homegoing by Yeah Jesse, which I've already read but I will be sort of following their discussions on it since again I've already read the book so it's, I'm interested to see how they all enjoy it or not possibly but probably enjoy because that book is fantastic. So yeah, I have a pile of books here. Some of these, actually most of these are books I have from the library that I need to read because they're going to be due back eventually. So I thought I would just run through these, although part of me is also in kind of a weird reading mood, so I don't know what I'm going to end up gravitating towards. So again, this is just a pile. I might read these books, I might not. I might pick up something completely different. We'll see. So the first one is Shiny Broken Pieces by Sonia Chiraputra and Danielle Clayton. I put this on my bout of books TBR, I believe, but I never got around to it. And it's due back at the library soon, so I need to read it. This is a Y book that takes place at a boarding school and features a whole cast of characters from a whole a bunch of different backgrounds. This is the sequel to Tiny Pretty Things which I read last year and really enjoyed. And I believe Sonia Chiraputra is going to be at Book Riot Live again. She was at it last year um, and I believe she's on the guest list again this year. So might as well read the sequel to the books especially since I enjoyed it so much. Um, I'm recording this TBR on Saturday and I'm kind of hoping to finish this book before the readathon actually starts on Monday, but if not, this is number one priority because it's due back relatively soon. Next up, I have Rich and Pretty by Ruman Alam. This book follows, I believe, two upper class white women um, who are basically best friends. They grow up together and then eventually as they're growing up they slowly separate from each other or they're not as close friends anymore but they still call each other best friends. So I believe this book is sort of an exploration of female friendship and what it means when you call someone your best friend even though you might not talk to them very much anymore. Ruman Alam is also going to be at Book Riot Live so this is more Book Riot Live prep and again this book is due back at the library soon so I have to read it before I return it. Also so if you don't know what Book Riot Live is, it's a two-day event that's being hosted by Book Riot. I'm going to be there and there are going to be lots of really great authors there like I mentioned. There is information down below as well as a coupon code if you are interested in attending. It's in New York City in November. I highly recommend it. Last year was fantastic. This year will probably be fantastic as well. Next up I have If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. I don't know a whole lot about this book other than it's a YA book that is by and about a transgendered girl or woman, but I've heard it makes everyone just hearts break so looking forward to this as this would also fulfill the book ride challenge of read a book by or about a transgendered person. Then I wanted to read a book in translation so I went to my own book piles for that and I have Among Strange Victims by Daniel Saldana Peris but translated by Christina McSweeney. This book I picked up around BEA time. This is from Coffeehouse Press which is a smaller press. Again, since it's a book that I already own, it's lower on the priority list than the library books, but I do want to at least try to pick up a book in translation, especially since I haven't been reading as much translation in the second half of this year. And finally, I have Here Comes the Sun by Nicole dennis Ben. This book has been getting a lot of really great reviews, and I believe it's also a debut novel. This story takes place in Jamaica, and I believe it's supposed to be sort of an exploration of this contrast between the Jamaica that like American scene, like the whole resort side versus the rest of Jamaica. And I believe that it follows a couple of different female characters who all live in Jamaica and possibly work at the resort. And I believe there's also LGBTQ themes in here. I'm not completely sure because I haven't read that closely into the description, but I've just seen it tagged that way on Goodreads. So yeah, those are all of the books that I have planned for this week. I know I'm not going to read them all, but I like to have options. If you're participating in the read thought, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know and, you know, feel Feel free to link to your TBR. I'll try to approve as many of them as possible because I you know YouTube like auto marks comments with links as spam so feel free to leave that comment down below um, or if you've read any of these books and you have any comments about them feel free to leave that down in the comment section as well. So yeah that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.